she triumphed on the army, declared them a terror organization. True story, Baba, true story. They spent so much money to try and build the momentum to say IPOB is uh, violent. But they couldn't. They couldn't really build it until now that they've successfully created the armed groups who continue to shout IPOB, shouting Namdi Kano, oh, we are going to kill everybody if you don't release Namdi Kano. And these are guys who ordinarily don't like Namdi Kano. You understand? These are people who ordinarily don't like Namdi Kano. But suddenly, eh, with a system that wants things to look like, oh, IPOB is violent, so oh, the unknown gunmen must be IPOB. It must be them. They will probably forget that uh, no matter how strong voice Namdi Kano was, right? There was never a single harassment. There was never a single uh, incident of insecurity in Eastern Nigeria. And the policemen, yes, people don't like police, but in Eastern part of Nigeria, there was no single, no single uh, I army mean, attack or anything. In fact, when they went to his, family, uh, his father's house, where they killed their 28 people, just before they finally gained access to his company and tried to kill him, even after that, there was never any form of uh, violence in Eastern Nigeria. All of this didn't work out they planned. They wanted the violence. They wanted them to react. They wanted them to pick guns. They wanted them so that they can now go and tell the world and say, Shabi, we told you years ago that it will be violent. You know? So why am I saying all of this to you? I am saying them to you because there are those in Nigeria today who believe that IPOB is more dangerous, right, than the Fulani terrorists that are kidnapping and killing people in Nigeria because the government uh, propaganda machine in Nigeria did a number on them for years now. So today, there's nothing you can tell some people. They would, no, 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 no. They will tell you, ah, no, no, no. Uh, the IPOB lost me when they started. They believe that IPOB is responsible for some of this uh, violence when there is actually no single proof to say, yes, it is. Okay? So even when they went on to the Delta states, uh, the initial thing that the Ronukus initially thought, because we call these all distractions just to make it look more like the killings, the kidnappings, the beheadings, the jihadism, all this mass stuff right, happening in Northern Nigeria, they are not, I mean, they'll say, oh, they're happening in the Southern part of Nigeria too. We know this, the one happening in Northern Nigeria is state-sponsored. Government of Nigeria, the criminals in government, the criminals in security agencies and all of them, they are those ensuring that the industry, terrorism industry in Northern Nigeria flourishes. In fact, they were exporting, they have been exporting them to the rest of Nigeria. But they don't want us to be shouting them alone. They want us to shout others too. And therefore, they have created the artificial, what have you, and they are, now declaring individuals wanted for terrorism. The Unam the Kanu they locked up. Okay. It's been 33 months. 33 months. In the next two months, it's going to be 36 months. That's going to be three years that they have locked them up in their it's been in their kitty. They couldn't produce one single evidence. The act of terrorism that they charge the, the act of treason they charge him for, with, they've dropped that. Initially, they said treason. They said he wanted to overthrow the government of Bukwari by making himself the president of Nigeria. In case if you don't know that, that's what they charged Namdi Kanu for. They wanted to overthrow Bukwari. He was instigating the citizens against Bukwari to remove him from government. So when that didn't fly, they dropped it. Now they are charging him with terrorism. Terrorism to say, oh, he's been encouraging acts of terror in Eastern Nigeria. And since they couldn't really have that to attach your name, they can look for others to just say, uh, add, add them to it and make it look real, but with no real evidence than what you have read. Eh? What you are seeing out there. Eh? And some, some idiot claiming responsibility for what they have no clue about. Or maybe becoming a sociopath themselves when they probably like, okay, if they say we are this or that, okay, then we are going to do it and all that. I don't know. Or Idiotas trying to be relevant, claiming responsibility for criminal activities that the state, the Nigerian government practically set up themselves. Okay? The act of terror, the act of criminality, 
that never existed when Namdikanu was out here. Even when they tried to kill him, all this madness didn't exist. But suddenly, you kidnapped him. And then he was suddenly, you begin to have a different, different faces, different, different uh, idiots camping up in different uh, places and thinking, you know, we are going to take Nigeria down. We are, yeah, 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 and all of that. Just trying to build momentum that we say, yes, we told you IPOB is a terrorist. So now let us have more authority of killing them. That's why I hate it when people take responsibility for what they have no clue about because, like, you know, typically Nigerians want to see their oppressors suffer. Suffer, yes, kill them. You have no idea that uh, you are claiming responsibility for what they already set up themselves. What they wanted is your acknowledgement of it, own it, so that they can say, yeah, it was you. And then they can now say, yeah, it should be you, they see that one, it should be you, they hear what they said. We told you that's who they, you know. I've seen that many times uh, for, for what it is, okay? So I heard that uh, what you would do now is that if they declare you wanted in Nigeria, you said declare them wanted. And uh, if anybody declare you wanted, my ego is here by declared wanted. You said we declare you wanted. So we we'll come put money on top of ourselves and say, if you see Tifnubu anywhere, so if you see my ego anywhere, report to the nearest police station. Say, no, if you see Tiffany go anywhere, arrest her and bring them to me. Everybody will come to hunt everybody. I'm just saying, okay? It is what uh, the uh, she told has become. And it's just for everybody to understand the fact that you can easily be played. Swear you can be played by the system. You know? Especially when people you don't like. You know, we can't like everybody, right? But, you know, people you don't like, if they are accused of something, you don't like them, so it must be true. And that's how you can get played, okay? Because what they are looking for is to have enough people to say, what you are going to do to him is justified. There are so many people who don't like, uh, who, who don't really like Nam Dekanu. So they don't care whether he's uh, innocent or is innocent, they don't like him. So since they don't like him, right, whatever has been done to him is, is fine. He deserves it. It must, be this, it must be that because they don't like him. And that is why the, the oppressors have been very bold. Okay? They will say, well, you, do you not hear what people are even saying? There are people who say that, uh, no man, no matter, we should have killed him. So that means we are even still being merciful by not killing him. Because some people actually will say we should. I mean, I saw people who said that uh, the government of Nigeria should have killed Shoure. And I'm like, what did he do? What did Shoure do? I just, I just don't like him. I don't like that guy. That guy is, is always like, it's only always what? Always what? That you have, look at everyone and you're like, they, they, should, they should have fire and shot and killed him. Abba. I've heard that. I've heard people say that. Ah, yes. I have seen people who boldly say the, the Nigerian government is just wasting time. They are just supposed to send him to sentence Namdekanu to death and just kill him. I'm like, kill him for what? Tell me, like, kill him for what? Can't you see all these things that is going on in Asia, Nigeria? I mean, eh? Somebody that is trying to break up Nigeria. Papa, she will, she will buy him. Eh? So, okay, she will. Like, I have. Ask people like that to like, she oh, she weary. Are yeah, you sure say you know be weary like this? People you don't like, okay? If they die, yeah, yeah. I said they should die. Yes, now, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, man, it is Nigeria. She you get. So, and that is all your oppressors need. The oppressors need to be sure to know that. There are people who feel like them. There are people who justify the injustice that they will meet at others. And the terrorists are, you know, your, 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 your criminal government, okay? They are now the ones who can now tell you which one is extreme, which one is severe, which one is serious, like extreme, serious, severe. I think they are all the same. So you get, they will tell you which crime is, is a crime that it's not that serious. The crime of killing farmers, beheading them, okay? 
mm, it's not good. It's not, we are not saying this. It's, it's bad, but it's not as serious. Compare that to somebody who wants to break Nigeria. Can you even imagine? Can you imagine that somebody wants to break Nigeria? We can't let that happen. I say, why are you so tense? Why are you like walked up? Like, we can't let that happen. You are not walked up. You are not tense that people are being killed and kidnapped by those who are claiming religious supremacy. You are not bothered. But you are tensed. You are tensed like, oh dear, no, that, this is the wrong place. This is the wrong country, man. No, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't coexist this way, okay? So that is why you, uh, I mean, you know, uh, we will continue to enlighten every one of us, okay? So that the numbers they have done on you, uh, it's very strong. I promise you it's very strong. Sometimes you won't find out until, once you actually encounter somebody who will point out for you, okay? So on my own diary, political, though, we are doing well. We are doing well in trying to make people understand when they are being used and by who and against who. And in most cases, when you are used, it is against yourself. Honestly, you know, when you believe what this rogue says to you or tells you, then what happens is that uh, you will be used or you'll be the loser. It's against yourself, yourself against yourself. Ask everyone who has been supporting the roguish criminal government in Nigeria. They've always been the victims of it too. Yeah, all of us are victims, of course. But I mean, those who support them, those who sweated for them, those who killed people for them, they end up in the old shithole as well, right? They share in the failure. So they are victims too. Now, I want to... Uh, Possibly take you around uh, where Obi has been. I don't know if some of you have been seeing Peter Obi lately, right? <laughs> okay. You see, when he first started, Peter Obi was doing Ramadan. It was found, I mean, it, they saw him uh, in, uh, in Yanya, in Abuja, where he was seen uh, at, a, at an uh, iftar. Iftar is uh, breaking off uh, fast uh, during Ramadan, okay? So, uh, and a lot of people were like, oh, well, number one, the election no date now. So nobody can say he's going to the mosque because of election. But people are not naive. People are not stupid. Right? Because uh, Peter B. still have uh, his uh, strong supporters. I swear, it's like his supporters are even like increasing. You know me, I do, I do observe everywhere. Sure you get and supporters, past supporters, like I'm talking about people who actually really believe in him. It's like he's becoming a symbol of theirs that they are saying is a, a political party. So don't be naive. Peter B is already working towards 2027. He continued to ride on the wave of uh, the obedience. And this time around, he seems to have uh, started annoying the people that were mocking him. Because it was all mockery. Initially, they were like, you go go everywhere, Taya. If they try to, to impress uh, this or that, if they try to rebuild bridges, they say Peter will be the build bridges. No vex. So I'm gone. I wanted to ask, what do you say uh, to this audio? Is this still going back and forth, or is perfectly like okay? Because I have been using this now for the past uh, um, 75 minutes. I want to hear you. Okay, because this might be me from now on. I do not really have to get too close to the bigger microphone there, right? And we will still have a perfect audio. So I need you to tell me what you see. See, uh, when I move back and forth, like I am now far away from my original microphone, okay? So tell me, do you have any problem with the audio at all? I should be hearing that myself, but the way I dress for here, eh? Manu Laiyu, a good day hat to check loud and clear god bless you so like i said it was like a mockery when i say mockery it was like what's in this guy dave what's he doing there is no election now so why are you trying to who are you trying to impress so then from mockery it started changing to como did i say this guy is up to something and from nowhere, eh, this Fayoshi 
this file shares uh, statement resurfaced again on the internet. And this was last year when they announced Tifnumbu, where Mamudu, uh, sorry, Mamudu Yakub uh, announced Tifnumbu as your president elect. This is what uh, Babala, Babala Die, eh, Faule She. Excuse for, for, me, sir. It's this been Peter will be, I've told you, this Peter will be, anybody who becomes president of Nigeria and does not, does not give a right of place, I'm not saying an appointment, but Peter will be. Eh? Peter will be will remove that person from office in another election. Mark my words. So are you saying this same wave? This same wave will not stop be repeated. Oh. This same way, this Peter will be the people supporting him, the Peter will be that I know, after this general election, they will continue. Even though the next cycle of elections is I in four tell, years. I'm telling you, those guys, oh, excuse for, for. me, sir. So that is a uh, foul issue. And, uh, and it's actually like foul, you know, Fayo uh is one crooked uh, uh, criminal man, is such a very crooked criminal, okay? So Fao Leche was planning to be governor of Ikiti. So he went to the drawing board and he realized that the entire Ikiti state, there is no, there is no government water, there is no drinking water. The entire Ikiti state, entire Ikiti. And this was uh, in uh, 2000, 2001. So by 2003, Payo She has become the household name, sharing water. You know what he was doing? Pao Le She, Pao Le She will now uh, call the, uh, you know, those people with the drive uh, uh, water tanker. Eh? The water, uh, do they have a name for them? Like big tanker or like big, you know, no, no, no truck, okay? So Paul Leche has this, has this as a scheme. So they will come twice in a week to supply water to some designated communities. Okay? So they will bring it, everybody will get water, fill their houses, drink it, and all of that. And that was how Paul Leche became household name. So they didn't have to spend much. When Obasanjo was uh, making deals with the Southwest governors in 2003, that they should support him for second term, all of them, eh, they will return on a post that all the PDP governors in Southwest, I mean, PDP governorship candidates in Southwest, they were just there as, as camouflage, okay? Or if the, if the AD governor supports him, or Basanjo, all those people would, they are going to return. It was only Tip Numbu who did not fall for it. So he went on to keep spending money and bribing and keeps doling out just cash enough that he had to actually make pledges to some of uh, uh, the electoral officers, the judges, and the rest of them to ensure that he kept that Lagos. And that's why they will kill anybody. If they tell you the story of how they managed to kill that Lagos, you're going to say sometimes it was like Lagos is now the spoil of war. Whatever they make from Lagos now is from the effort, the fight, they fought back then. If not, there will be history today. So it was only Tifnumbu. So Adebayo in Ekiti lost to Payoshe. Now Payoshe became governor. Now Payoshe now opened a uh, poultry. It was supposed to be the state poultry. He now invited Obasanjo to come and open up the poultry, the biggest poultry in Ekiti state. Okay? So when Obasanjo got there, you know Obasanjo is a farmer. So when Obasanjo got there, it was as a president, he was going about, he was going everywhere, seeing all the chicken, chickens and all of that. He was seeing all the old thing. And at a point, midway inside the poultry in the farm, Obasanjo now turned around and said, Yo, your own chicken, know the shit, me. Like, do, does your own chicken, I mean, like, share your own chicken, know the pool, me. That was the end of the tour. And in fact, that was the end of Obasanjo's state visit to Ekiti State. That same evening, Obasanjo returned to Abuja. A week after that, Obasanjo demanded for the removal of Paul Leche. Then the story long, shall they pay? Now, the boot of a car, Paul Leche, eh? now boot of a car, they take smuggle him 
out of a kitty state. When a person just had me arrived at do a kitty, finally she had to jump at the back of a boot in the government house because the person just said they must bring him to Abuja in handcuffs. That madman, Obasanjo. Paul she ran and he entered the badon from the badon. Eh? Alaye Japa. Here you get now. So that's why we call him a foul she. That's a foul. Fouls. Fouls are chickens, aren't they? Foul she. He's a criminal. But he's a politician. So he was talking about Peter Obi. So now let's go take a look where, where and where he's been and why they are more concerned now. So they said he was in Kebi. He gave them ball. He was in Lagos. Marcus Agege. He was in Eshokoto. And he was actually in Kano too. And from there, I think he's been to Lafia in Nasarawa. He's been to Abuja. And he's been uh, breaking fast here and there that some of these uh, jihadists from Northern Nigeria are begin beginning to say, Peter Obi is walking his way into the heartland of Arewa, and this is dangerous. Oh my, I saw somebody say that. He said, it's dangerous. I thought we were all supposed to be laughing at this clown, Obi Abi. Okay, I'm going to show you. Mo will start from, uh, I think, uh, Mo will go to Kirby. These are the youth from that area, okay? And then Obi himself. So I'm going to show you. Mo Jini, Peter Obi Azo Garongo. Peter Obi Azo Brinin Kebi Yaka Amun Alheri. Kuma Allah Obanji Di Chitema Kaishi. Allah has asked you to go back to that. Amen. Wa, kuma. Yeah. Peter Obi Azo Brinin Kebi Yaka Amun Alheri. Kuma Allah has asked you to go back to that. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I Allah <laughs> Uh, Abishi, uh, Peter Obi, Nanka, Abishi, Abishi is food. The other ones, I don't know. So here is uh, their own, uh, I don't know, this is the chief imam of Kirby Abi for the area they went to, if you don't mind. Here. All the time, they are even more. They relate to that. But you see, sometimes, they continue to talk. They leave the whole thing here, like that. Mm. 
the Honorable Commissioners, to our distinguished colleagues in the Cameroon, I wish to thank you for your taking time to come with this distinguished passion to see us and they will have what is about our country and that we should take note of it. The leaders to take note of what we are, what this our country has to make us prosper. That's what he is telling us. We have planned large of it. I have young men who are strong enough, who are educated enough to make this country a better place. Taking this advice, Nigeria will be great. It is greater. Even now, when you go visit our countries, make sure that you are from Nigeria. You say you are a rich country. In my life, I have visited 30 countries. And the old land, what you see of you see a problem, the other countries they have it. Anyway, that would be, I don't know, I think it's a name here. The way the guy look and the size of his own uh, bed sheets went a crappy head. That look like, uh, it doesn't matter anyway. So yeah, uh, he was there reminiscing his time in Eastern Nigeria when he worked there in Enugu. Good old days. Oh, good old days. Because you know, they said that the first uh, counselor, is that if 